What questions do you have this week? Just to start off. Does anybody have any specific questions? Any? Why didn't I take the KLCP1 test at the cap? Ah, that was so stupid. I should have done Just it. That. Just show that the cap bed show. Uh, I've been that. kicking myself for a week now. Type that. Internet doc kashur kepchum ah ej bejeshlach chur vaj pa KLCP da kadlach. Did you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was okay. Yeah, that was the end of a question. No, I was saying if so is there such a thing as a mm -hmm. a little big meeting? Deutschland mm kash -hmm. was originally called the Kepchum uh, because we have the Kepa in the United States, and then or, well, it happened once in Belgium, but mostly in the United States, and then uh, the Belgian Kepa is commonly known as Kepchum. Pardich, so the zeroth Kepchum, and then Levin started doing the Kepchum in Zar in Scharbrücken, and um, and uh, eventually, so it was originally called the Kepchum because it happened every year and it was you know it was kind of small, and then now it's actually consistently uh, had more attendees than uh, the Kep the Kep -a. so it's referred to jokingly as the Kepchum A. The major minor meeting. Hmm. <laughs> it's not grammatical, but it is it is intentional ungrammatical uh, ungrammaticality. Well, Alan Anderson said that they were looking at getting some online KLCP tests in the future, so we won't necessarily have to go to a physical in the, mm -hmm. to get our test. I hope so because my job does not allow for travel. I, I get no paid days off, no vacations, and so I can't afford to take a. I work weekends, so I can't afford to take a weekend off. This would be impossible in Sweden unless you're a your own employee. Like you, you cannot have a work without with no vacation if you have a. Um, yeah, schedule and everything. It just it's impossible. Yeah, it would be <laughs> against the law. Yeah. Have, oh, have you explained to this group what your name means? Uh, well, it was them. not my idea. It was Rhyme's idea. But I was I was looking for a cool name in Klingon, and I know knew that I needed to have apostrophe a kahui inside because I love the names with a kahui. And I was like um, brainstorming with rhymes, you know, rhyme, you know, all rhyme, the Swedish guys rhyme. Ach, but. Yeah, and and I told him that uh, my name is uh, well, my friends in Poland call me Ringo since I was like twelve. Uh, that's my Beatle maniac, uh, I would say, uh, nickname. Mm -hmm. And so he said, "Well, maybe you want to be called Kreb Oven because Kreb is uh, ring, so it'll be like Ringo." So right. I love the idea, <laughs> but I cannot say that I that it was my idea because it was actually Rhyme who came with this fantastic idea. But I love it so much. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, I love Klingon names like that. Cause... Excuse me, I just do you, you told something about the Belgian Kreb Home. Is there one like? annual so have i have well, i been no, meeting so, so what happened was there in the early 2000s there was the first and only international kept off so the one that went beyond the united out of the united states and it happened in brussels mm -hmm. and so because it happened in brussels and a whole bunch of american klingonists went and because it happened in brussels a whole bunch of european klingonists went so it was pretty i as i understand it it was a lot of fun and among those Europeans was Levin. And I don't know if he had gotten the idea to do the Kepchum before or after, but at any rate, the next year he did the first Kepchum. So sometimes the Kepchum is referred to as the, okay. or the, that Kepa is referred to as Kepchum Pachdich. So. Um, okay, cool. Well, and speaking of new words, I have a few, but I can't reveal them yet, but I will. <laughs> then why did you tell us that? <laughs> what do you mean that you have a few? Do you mean that you have a few that are not on the list? Yes, that is correct. 
Oh. <laughs> that is correct. I know. I feel swear us to super secrecy. special right now. What's that? You can swear, swear us to secrecy. That's okay. <laughs> this is being recorded. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I am not willing to reveal military secrets. So. Where did you get these words? Directly from the big O or somewhere else? I got it from the big M. Malt. Yeah. Oh. I went and visited him in the basement. I didn't need to do any social distancing because Klingons can't get the coronavirus. And um, <laughs> it's cool. We just hung out. We talked a little bit. And uh, you know. so, but anyway, it's going to be great. And I had a couple of questions on words that people use in in the community, but it's not necessarily confirmed. So like, which is used commonly to mean already, but then there's a question, do you really need it? Because poop, which is the um, perfect aspect, um, can kind of cover a lot of what already might cover in English or whatever. So anyway, that was one of my questions. So we might be getting an answer on that. And when do you expect to reveal these new words? When I get them. <laughs> I only have a few, that's why I, I, I'm just gonna wait till I have the whole list and then, um, yeah. So anyway, that's exciting, even though we just got a whole like gazillion uh, new words, um, that's exciting. How's everybody going on vocabulary uh, memorization? Slow and steady. Slow and steady, that's a good way to do it. What's up, Scott? I've started focusing on KLCP one words. Good, yes, yes, do that. And just get them like banged into your memory and then it should be easier. Chabo, Chiago. Uh, I haven't been really like sitting down with a new word or with new words for me. I mean, learning new words. Yeah. I, I like, I made sure that I hopefully can all the words that are that were needed for the CalCP one, but since yeah. then I was only learning the words that I, you know, when I was writing a post on Instagram in Klingon or yeah. or, or uh, using something on Discord or somebody used, and I so I I learned like maybe ten words, but it wasn't intentionally that I, you know sat, sat sat down with them, but it was more. So yeah, for example, one of the words that are, I can't understand why I didn't know it before is rep. So like he rep, like give me a hug. Yeah, yeah. And it's been so useful. And I didn't know this word. So that's yeah. one of the words I learned this week on yeah. the board, So Oh yeah, yeah. It's a great word. Yeah, that's and that's a great and, and that's a very um that's a great place to learn new words. Discord and, and Twitter and learning Klingon used in IRL. Right? Um Thiago, how are you going along? Uh, I took a like a, a week off <laughs> and I just did a review. I did a lot of review. Yeah. Uh, I took all the vocabulary for the Duolingo uh, at the point that I am. I'm, I'm like a halfway through mm -hmm. and I took it uh, again. I saw every single word that is once again this week. Yeah. Also the KCP1 list, I just uh, get a little bit uh, again in order to <laughs> make it fresh. And after tomorrow, I have 101 days to get a KLCP2 word list. And I know it's almost impossible, but I have the final plan and let's see what happens <laughs> if I yeah. do it. Yeah. Because I wanted to, to prepare for, for Cap Home Up. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Whether I see that I have a 20. And yeah, whether exactly. online, you know. Yeah. Uh, whether it happens and if I get a place, it's also important. <laughs> I'm very critical to 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 that Levin's principle. He knows it. He will. He has the right to do whatever he wants. But actually, I'm I'm so critical about it. I mean, it's it, I don't want to start it. But how come all the people like they're always calm? They always have luck. I don't know if it's like really random. Like really, like all the places are really random, or some people, you know. I have a feeling that probably it's just like 15 or 20 places that are like random, like um, lottery. I, I, that's my feeling. So it's I think it's just unfair. Well. It's so fucking unfair. Like, fuck. It's right. excluding people. Oh, yeah. I, I hate it's that. The same thing. I think he's trying to like keep a, a grip on um, 
what you might call quality control. Um, yes. <laughs> so, like it's not getting too big so that he can't like, you know, um, but I think I, right about like, there's only a certain number of this, of like the 60 something that are 50. Well, that come that it's 50. 50. And it's, there are some people who always get in a thing because it's yeah. like, and then you get the, for example, a diploma for coming a few times in a row. But if you're a person that always gets in, yeah. like if I won't yeah. get randomly selected, then it's not my fault, but I won't get the diploma. It's like, how are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. I made my registration one hour after he published the, the uh -huh. registration. Yeah. It was extremely early for uh, USA, so I might be one of the first uh, registered, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. That's the thing, I would rather have a first, you know, first come, first served, yeah. than uh, like random lottery, which I, I'm, think it's probably not the whole 50 places that's my suspicion so um, I have a question for y'all um do y'all watch um so every sunday morning um a couple of klingonists um myself included get together on zoom like this and we just chat in klingon and it's called the kotvin pep I put it onto my YouTube channel every the recording of it, and usually it's in between like thirty minutes and an hour and a half, um, and it's just us chatting in Klingon. Does does anybody watch any of that, even if it's not the whole video? No, I haven't. I didn't it. know that was a thing. Yeah, um, check. Yeah, you can check it out. Um, it's really good because you will be able to hear people speaking Klingon um, off. You know. Uh, on the fly, right, for an extended period of time. Um, you will hear somebody other than myself speaking Klingon, right, which is good. Um, and uh, it's also good for refreshing your memory on some vocabulary, right, and learning new vocabulary. So I would suggest to watch the Kotvin Pep, and I will write that in the... In the uh, I have seen just some part, uh, some few minutes of some of them. But uh, yeah, I was yeah. too far away. <laughs> yeah. um, so anyway, it's just good. And then again, um, if you look on SoundCloud, uh, John Harness actually has um, uh, some recordings. And I, I'll actually post a link to that because I think I've mentioned that a couple of times. Has anybody ever listened to the recordings from um, Capcom? I think it's... The twenty second cup home. Akka sat down with a couple of fluent speakers and he spoke with them. Here, I've sent you his SoundCloud account and you can go and look up the things that Arha has got on there. I believe, yeah. So there's there's a whole playlist called Kep Mach Chop Ditch. So twenty second Kep A. And in it, there are five recordings. There is Krankor uh, Ishkup Jer, so Krankor and Ishkup, um, Krov, right? Wit, who you will also see if you watch the Kotvin Kep. He, he's always there every week. And then there are two, there are two uh, recordings that are part of the same. Uh, session they just had to record it twice they had to do two recordings for whatever reason and one is called Klingon advanced speakers chat and the other one is Klingon advanced speakers chat part two and again it's just speakers talking about you know whatever um, and it's good because you get a variety of voices um, which is good for listening comprehension so I I suggest it um, so what I'm going to do right now, um, today I would like us to talk about um, different places that we go, around town um, specifically. Uh, but before we do that, so again, building on like the practical Klingon skills. So <laughs> when, you're, when you're in person with other Klingon speakers, you can talk about things that like you're actually in front of you. Um, but before I do that, I'd like to ask y'all some questions in Klingon, and then just try to respond to the best of your ability back in Klingon. And if you don't understand 
what I'm saying. What's the Klingon way of asking me to say what I'm, what I said again? Or to say, huh? Nukjak. Yeah. And then repeat. When could you say that last that second word again? The bore poo. What I don't know that word? Wow. Oh, oh. Roar. Roar. When when I where was I born or when was I born? Roar. Okay. Uh <laughs> you're not supposed to ask that of human women, I thought. Um uh, say something you, else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that would be uh you can just give your birthday if you want. You don't have to give the year. <laughs> it's all it's all good. Uh Wedge Mach Losh Ben. Mm-hmm. Wedge Mach Losh Ben. That's the you want the year? Dish Char Judge. Um Dish, and those we just say the numbers. So it would be, uh, wa, dish wa Jav. I'm blanking on month. One second. You know this. Oh, uh, jar cha, judge wama. Jibor <laughs> 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 Would it be, like I've said, Michigan Dock Jaborg Poo? That would work. Much, 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 much. Oh, thank God. I live. I live. Borg. 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 Guy. Och. Bet. Guy. Och. Edge. Hmm. Nuk och punglich at. Nuk och punglich at. Jilid. Nuk och. Vilek lach bet. Nuk och punglich at. Is that still directed at me or someone else? Doch. Yeah. Doch. Can you repeat that, please? Nuk och punglich at. Oh. Uh. Pong Widge O Caitlin. Caitlin O Pong Lidge Oh, yeah. Sorry. Mat Edge Nuktak Nuktak Shoch. Where is what? Shoch. Where am I now? Okay. Da. Florida Dock. J. Dach. Florida Dock. Shoch Tach. Ah. Edge. Mudot. Yedel. Shish A. Vung A. Jev A. Vung. Kara. Vung. Hija. Hija. Vung. Hija. Vung. So how would I say, um, if I wanted to say it is weaker today 
than it was yesterday. Would I use the same construction um, as if I were doing um, a comparison? Like, would I say, Gajaj Puj Lao Wahu Puj Push? What are you trying to say again? If I was trying to say that uh, it is weaker today mm -hmm. than it was yesterday. Well, remember, remember not to. Remember to think in terms of how the Klingon phrases it, right? So, yeah, so, so I, I mm -hmm. this was how I originally thought, but that doesn't seem right to me. Well, so in Klingon, it's a verb, right? To, to hurricane, right? So you could say something like, or 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 rather, okay. because ha, remember, ha mm -hmm. needs to come directly on the root, right? Mm -hmm. So you couldn't put a ku in between vun and 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 ha, so it has to be mm -hmm. ha Um, so yeah, you could do something like that. Okay. Yes. Edge shimyon ar rech. Oh, um. This one I know. I did this this morning. Um Gakujdak Chavak Shoch Shimyon Re Shimyon Shimyon Rech 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 Rech. 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 I can't. Rech. I can't. Chidza. Dakolach. You can pronounce it. Dakolach. Rech. It's okay. You kek ne. You kek and shibit chap the chap. Just keep on practicing. Yeah. Ram. Gargle before you go to sleep. That's a great word to practice rai with because it has rai both as the initial and final consonant. Okay. Cool. Much kha. Tiago. Roar de borpu. What? Um, a thousand again? Fuck. Uh, Shag. A second. Watch mark. Watch Ben. Lush. Jav, Jav, Cha, Mah, Chur, Jaj, Kush, Witch, uh, Oh, Kush, Witch, uh, Um, I want, I want to say, uh, I told, uh, I was born 30, 33 years ago, so Witch, Mah, Witch, uh, Ben. Mm -hmm. Rek Nuk Hek Nuktak. Rek Nuk Dajak. Then what did you say? Okay, uh and my 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 birthday okay. is at this day. Dan is a cha ma chur ni um sorry so jav Jah, cha ma chur jaj oh okay oh so, we check so jar jav jaj right jar jav jaj wat jaj cha uh, jar wat jaj 
Jar cha, jar wed, jar loš, jar vaz, jar jav. Okay, so I said, if, you say, yes. if you say jav jar, then that means six months. But if you say jar jav, that means month number six, which is what. Yeah, jar jav. Yeah, okay, sis, thank you. Uh, yeah. Jar jav, wamach, uh, cha mach, chur, mm -hmm. uh, kush, which, uh, kosh. 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 Yeah. Kosh. Yeah. Kosh. Yeah. Kosh. Kosh. I remember to label your day as well, right? You were saying jar jav and then you were just heading right into the day. But if you say jar jar jav, what was it? Chatmach or watmach chor, right? Chamachur. Chamachur. Then that just means mm -hmm. month number six, 20, 20, uh, 28. Mm -hmm. Which is like, which I think somebody could clean what it meant off of that, but it's it's not uh, completely. Not clear. Maj, ej nuktak bidab. Bidab. Deutschland bidab. Deutschland Dach Vidab. Deutschland Vidab. Deutschland Vidab. Utbet Dach Kara Deutschland Vidab. Malaysia Vidab. Tach Tach Tach. Mat. Ed Nuk Dach Bibor Pu. Pirashil V. Bor. Bibor. Birashiu dak bibor pu. Birashil dak bibor. Makum. Dun, 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 dun. Edge, hmm. Dach. Deutschland dak. Schuchtach. Kara. Hishla. Mat. Edge, hmm. Deutschland mudok yingu. Yedel. Mudok yedel. Uh, Mudok Hijaka Nudok Dok Yedel Dok Claim Mud Dok Dok Mud Yajpe Mud Mud Yeah, okay. Uh, Dachaj uh, Shish. Dachaj Shish. Shish. Chailij Yekel. Dachaj. Dachaj Shish. Dachaj Shish. Good. Good. Edge Chalbech. Daparcha. Chalbech. Chalbech. Chau bet. Chau bet. Da par ha a. Oh, chau bet. Chau bet. Chau bet. Chau, ya. Bet. Da pa. Nuk. So, uh, I didn't understand. So, is if I like the, this this guy? Chau bet. Shish. Shish. Nuk o. Yeah. Chow bek. Ah, how much is ringing? Something like this? Oh. Chow bek. Da parcha. Ah. Parcha. Yeah, like, yeah. Chow, chow bek. Chow is sky, but bek. bek. What is bek? Mmm, <laughs> bek. 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 <laughs> If I like the sky water, okay, if I like the rain, oh my god. Hija. Uh, Match. Uh, uh, one moment. Okay. Da judge uh, Buj. 
Tuchku. Ja. Dun. Nadev. Nadev. Bier. Lok. Bier. Lok. Kre. Kre. Ja. Kum. Kum kusch. Wat? Klo. Kreb o. Nukdak. Ehm. Je los. Kre. Lok. Kre. Nuk. Nuk. Och. Kre. E. Kre. Ehm. Kre. Dajak. Kre. Kre. Nuk. Bier. Lok. Bier. Kre. Mutsu och. Kre. Ehm. Chai. Chai. Darik. Kre. Et. Jai. Kat. Kat. Kai. Et. Ah, Kai. 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 Uh, Kai. Lok bier. Kai. Tad. Tad big. Rube. Rove. Rove. Nadev. Kai. Rove. Shushkom to do. Ej. Lok bier. Kai. Rove. It's a little chilly. Oh, okay, it's a cray chilly. I have cray. Kreb o, nukdak, bebor pu. Varsava, varsava, dak, bebor, eh, bebor pu. Mad, Polish cut moan. Moan? Moan. Ah, Polish cut moan, varsava. Moan, moan, eh, Mon ed... Ah, mon, aha. Yad. Rurchuk, hara. Rurchuk, chu. Mad. Ed. Kordu uid... Varsava dak... Varsava dak... Bor... Bor... Kordu uid... Yad. Yad. Nuk dak bedab. Shuveria... Dak shuveria... Dak shuveria bedab. Ah, Vengledge, you know. Huh? The Karlstad, 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 eh, Vidab. Mat, mat. Koshledge, you know. Krishmash! Krishmash, oh, Koshledge. Ech, dach, dach, lok, jeledge, nuk, oh, Krishmash, dach, dach. Um, um, dish hot every year. Dish hot. Hot dish. Hot. Hot dish. Dish hot all year. Hot dish every year. Hot dish. I always mix it. Always. Like I cannot learn that principle. Hot dish. Um. 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 Bello. Jar. What mach? Cha. Jar. Judge, eh, chat mach, bar, bar. Kash, kishmash. Kash, kishmash. Maj, dun. Ej, dach, shuver yak dach, nuk och, mudo, kse. Kab. Kab? Kab. Eh, ben. Shish a gel a a rau. Shush to lo. How to say it's windy? You never told us. Shush to. Shush to. Just to lo or. To lo. Shush to lo. Shush to lo. To lo. And um. Kre. 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 And kre. And um. Um. How do you say air again? Rebe. Rebe. Big. Big. Rebe dak. Big. Big. Ziyaj. Ziyaj. Nadev. Nadev krik je. Ej nadev krik mo. Kool vichen moch. 
Cool with Chenmoch. Cool. Cool. Ah, cool. Uh, fire? Cool with Chenmoch. Rek ha de tuj. Ah, cool to lu. Mmm, dun ku. Rek, cool with the maj et na deb jerosh. Mats, 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 mats. Yo targ bishach a. I beg your pardon, I am having to work right now. Hide that. Maj, vaj, dach, dach shagel ka. Nuk, nuk, botiv. Nuk botiv. Nuk dativ. Gativ. Nuk dativ. Oh, um. Nuk, nuk, nuk dativ. Uh. J. Jeladha vitiv. Eh. Vitiv. Eh. Vitiv. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Nuk I'm I'm so used to thinking of eh just as that that signifier on the end mm -hmm. of uh, nouns that I forget to just plug it in there. That's true. Yeah. But okay. Pak dalad tak et nativ. Dun. Nuk dalad. Mark poop dalad a. Pak dalad a. Kang chin pak dalad a. Um. Nuk dalad. Would it be if I said something like um pak me keg science books? Would that oh, work? Ked pak. Mm -hmm. Ked pak? Okay. Ked pak. Da, that works. Pak ked pak science book. Pak ked book science. Okay. I I so um it would be that one word is it just alt um i, I would do two words Chop. okay okay because because um head is a noun and not an adjective so i wouldn't put it after pak okay Mad. Making progress. Next All right. Show. Yotar. Nuk nech. Nuk dak bebor pu. Nuk jat. Nuk dak bebor pu. Terra. <laughs> Edge terra dark nook dark before poo. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we have a word for Minnesota. Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota dark jibor poo. Minnesota dark jibo and is it jibo or vibo? Jibol. Jibol. And often the poop comes on there as well. For, poop, for I people. have I have been born in Minnesota. Nuk dak. Dach Minnesota dak jichtach. Nuk dak. Jichtach jiyaj bet. Dach. Dach. Now. Minnesota dock, Jichtach. Uh, Robert. Washington. Robert. Uh, Washington dock, uh, Jichtach. Match, at dock, Minnesota dock, Jichtach. Minnesota dock, Jitu Air. Ah, Minnesota. Oh. Not there. Not there. Minnesota dock, nook dock, bebor poo. 
Minneapolis dag bebor pu a, uh, uh, Bemidji dag bebor pu a, Duluth dag bebor pu a, St. Paul dag bebor pu a, Nuk dag. Morhe dag jebor. Ah, maj vaj, uh, Nuk og lat uh, Fargo rets dag og Morhead e, kara? Um, I, uh, was the word for live in gab? Gab. Fargo mm -hmm. vidab pu. Maj, kashtach bish, poch ar. Poch ar. Wat cha wej los ar. Um, now, let's see, that would be Chor <clears throat> Chorgich. Now I forgot, uh, Chorgich Gab Vidab. Kashtach Vish. Chorgich. Ah. <laughs> I'm terrible at forming kinds of languages. Um, I lived in Fargo for eight years. Fargo dak chor gish vidab pu. I had lived in Fargo for eight years. Fargo vidab kashtach vish chor gish. In Fargo for eight years, I lived. That Fargo Vidab. Fargo Vidab. I lived in Fargo. Kashtach Vish. Kashtach Vish. Vish. Kashvish. Tachvish. While. Kash. Kash. Is that? Kash. Kash. Oh, it happened? Okay. That's a word that should really be in my vocabulary. Kashtachvish, while it happened. While it happened that I was living in Fargo, eight years occurred. Or eight eight years happened while I lived in Fargo. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> What's Klingon for? Whew. Va. Va. <laughs> Uh, remember, I don't have the vocabulary of these other people, so that I'm going to struggle through this. Quite bad. Quite bad. Roar de Bor Pu. Roar. Roar. No. When? De Bor. When? De Bor. When was I born? Um. Lure. Now, if I want to say in the year 1960, do I use dish before or after the numbers? Dish? Wow. Okay. <clears throat> dish, what shot of hoot vat javmach jibo? I was born in the year 1960. Um, Mach. Uh, hoot. Ben Jibbo. I was born 59 years ago. Edge dish wat hoot jav Par da jatlach je. I'm getting the first part. Uh, also say year one nine six zero. Okay, more, yes. More current among what? speakers. But you can also say the way that you said. Oh, I said sixty instead of six zero. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no, I was doing one thousand nine hundred sixty right. instead of one nine six zero. Which is fine, but we Klingons might not do it that way. Right. Okay. So, dish wahut jav pa jibog. I remember that poo often accompanies bog. 
Bowl. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. Hmm. It's hard to be in the state of being born and then not have it completed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I completed being born in the year 1960. And then also, you know, like you could start to be born, you know, on one day, and then you haven't completed being born until you're actually born, right? So, we'll... cool. Okay. Uh, Edge, Chiago, Nuke, that's you. Will kill her. <laughs> Thing on hold, the hodge, eh, that's it, the chief. Hodge, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, H, uh, uh, so how to, how to say watch TV? Oh, hashtag Jich the badge at the tail. Hashtag Jich badge the tail. The badge. The badge. Yeah, the badge at the tail. Much, do that. Oh, Nukta Tiv. Um, uh, 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 the edge, the the edge, the the edge, the edge, the 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 Var top uh, wedge top, uh, top before. Judge cool that. That's kite that. Astronauts. Oh, oh, lower language. Show that. SpaceX, NASA. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Judge, judge, judge. Dach, judge. Dach, 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 dach. Oh, dach, judge. Okay, so puch, wot, och, bet. Bob Doug Jeev. Who? Wot och bet. All right. Um, shock. Shock. Okay. Shock. Dach. Uh, dach. Shock. Shock. Po. Uh, Bob Doug Jeev. Much. Much. Dach. Tera. Oh, I see. I see. I, I totally, totally. I was so excited that I wrong, used the completely wrong sentence. Kite bet. Uh, Kite bet. You took a call. You took a call. Vaj keb o nar kok da nar et dativ ach bash ur kok bash ur et dativ je? Je? Ush bash ur kok vetiv bat Oh, dative badge. Match dative badge. Blue. Match. Nar cook the edge at the tip jar. Root. Root bash or cook rom push the edge at the tip. Edge. Hot cook the edge. Ah, hot cook. Yeah. Hot cook. If, 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 if that age, uh, and uh, that, if that, that age, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Johnny Cash, Patsy Klein, can whip poo, retiv, shoot whip poo, ve, ve par, uh, Brad Paisley, uh, ve par, uh, lots of poo, ja, ve par, pie, uh, should, should cock, should, <laughs> cock, should, um, cock, should, ich, should. Ich Ich mag boh kok. Ah, Tiago, nuk och kok share at dativ boh. 
That's complicated now. Uh, <laughs> what you what you with? <laughs> uh, okay, let's say uh, how to say that. Uh, the band. Okay. Uh, Lu. Lu. Petra. Petra. Petra Striper. Okay. Yeah. Look oh look oh share that how to say that because those are more uh, gospel bands gospel rock bands mm -hmm. how to say that um lauda lauda nach yeah yeah nice good good lauda nach with tip ja lauda nach Boom kupu elvish, edge elvish with parcha ku. Boom ku. What? Good. Caitlin. Edge. Uh. Um. Wek maj ku viraj. Krok. Yeah. You have recorded how to say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Da kon. Da kon. Yeah. Kon. Kon. Con. Yeah, the the con additive. Yeah. It's uh, doing cool. Your turn. Look at the mashboard. Look at the mashboard. Yeah. Mm. Not YouTube. Uh, Marsh, Marsh, Lau, Ach, Hot Cook, the Marsh, but okay, a Marsh Boar, you know, Mozart Cook, you Glenn Miller Hoch Yetev. Is that the right way to say Mozart's music and Glenn Miller's music? Ach, uh, Chorapu. Vitiv. Because I don't think we have words for classical and swing, do we? Toch. Mitmochbor, Hoch, swing. Mitmochbor, Hutmam, classical, Hoch. Lurdech Krok Kara Krok No Krok Shek. Part of part of Klingon is you gotta you gotta improvise with some of the things that we have to get your point across. So Krok Shek is a good way of saying it. So formalistic music. Yeah, yeah those are words not in my vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> or you could say Lurdech Krok. But that could cover a whole bunch of things. So Lourdes is tradition or traditional, if you use it in that sense. So yeah, that Dutch. sounds more like folk music. <laughs> right, and that's that's what it could also cover. But it's also, you know, it's part of what I, you know, I, I would say that it's traditional. But mm. that could also cover folk music, you're right. Um, although you might hear some people say Nur Krok, which means cultural um, music. <laughs> Um, Maj Edge Yotar Nuk Nuk Dativ Park me Dativ Um, Kasta Jir Dativ Ah. Can I say that I like something the way I say I want something? So, Ech. can I say Vilad Vit uh, Vitiv or no, Jilad Jitiv? I like to read. Jilad. Evitive. 
Vilad Etiative. Et Etiative. You're commanding me right now. I I don't I are you yeah. don't have to command me already. No. Okay. Um no, but okay, because I, I could say I want I know I want to read it would be Vilad Vinech. Mm -hmm. I read it, I want that. Yep. Would it be so I don't need an et there? Is it just because I th I read the construction, I was just like Vilad Vinech. Nech is a very special, a special one. Not this, need yeah. that. But on so if I want to change it from I want to I enjoy it, would it be, and, and I don't want to say I enjoy reading a specific thing, I enjoy reading in general. So I would think Jalad et um, Jetiv. Ve, ve, ve. Okay, so it, I still use, use an, ob, oh, because that's the object. Yeah. Et. Think of it as like you have. You've said I read. That. I enjoy that. Yeah. Do I need the et to connect them? Right. So think of it. Th okay. This way. So you said your sentence, and then et. What et is going to do is it's going to put those parentheses around what you've just said, and it's saying this is all a noun now, and it's the and this noun is now the object of what I'm about to say next. Jilad et yet. I keep saying ye instead of je. That's a Vilad adjetiv. Advitiv. Yes. No, you can j. Jilad, but it's jilad because I'm just reading, not reading it. Jilad advitiv. There you go. Yeah, you were saying jilad huh? adjetiv. I, I think okay. I know why. I think I know why because Scott, you want to do so much to be into classical music and stuff that you are ordering him to do that. So that's like <laughs> unconscious. unconscious. <laughs> Much, 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 much. Okay, cool. Well, y'all, pet, rin yupmech miu ed dach dachme de richlach. And dun dun dun. Dachme, dachme. Talking about the places. Cool. Um. So. We talked about, um, I think most people who here live in cities, right? Or towns? Anybody live in the country? No. <laughs> well, right now I am in, so I'm not in a Veng right now, although I was born in a Veng. We have Veng, right? Which means just somebody. City. Out. Yeah. So City. when I said that um, Everett Doc Vidab, could I have said for the city of Everett, would I say Veng Everett or Everett Veng? First, Veng, Veng Wadvich is first city, mm -hmm. but I don't know if city of works the same way. Veng comes, so it comes after. So I, Hi. Everett. Because in Klingon, we name things after their, we give the title after their actual name. So, oh, so I were, city works like a title. Yeah, if I were in the military and I were a general, then I would be Desh Duk Sha. Right? Uh, and Krankor is Krankor Etch, right? He is Brigadier Krankor. Uh, Let's see, what, who, who else? We have Kool Chod, right? So he's Captain Kruge, Kool Chod. So, you know, if you name things after, then you'd say, um, you know, Dallas Vang, oops, Dallas Vang, Stockholm, uh, Stockholm, uh, Vang, Tach, Tach, Tach. Uh, I think there's a, See in sure, Stockholm, just going, right? I was having a brain fart moment. Um, Paris Vang. Although, you know, for most of the time, you just need, you don't need that Vang. You can just say Paris Vidab. I live in Paris. Berlin Vidab. London. Whatever. You know, New York. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we have Vang. What's a step down from a Vang? Vang from? Huh? Veng Hom. Veng Hom, that's right. What's a step down from a Veng Hom? Town? Well, Veng Hom's already a town or a village. Mm -hmm. 
It's just farmland, right? Uh, nope. Right, but, but, but not, cool. but no. the, the term for the area where there would be lots of farmland. Hot? Maybe mountains, yeah, hot. Which means? Countryside. Countryside, right. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about a hot venjom. So we'll talk about a countryside village. What are some of the what are some of the things that you would find in and around a countryside village, a rural village? Gume. Nukoch. Gume. Oh, dukme. Dukme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, duk, which would be a farm, right? Cool. What else? What else would you find in a rural village or town? You can say it in English if you want. We're here to learn that vocabulary. You may mm. also find uh, lots of nothing. Hard. Ah. Nothing. Okay. What else? Yeah. All right. What else? What else are we finding in a rural village? Ngam. Ngam. Yeah. Ngam. Forest. All right. Maybe a ngang. Right. Lake. Lake. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Field. Yolk. Field. Yolk. Nook. What else? Nook lot. Kachome. Kachome. Yeah. You okay. might also you might also call that a hudyar, which is a shed. Right. You said te? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hujar is a shed. Yeah, you might find te. I'm going to start replacing them. So if anybody hasn't written it down, go ahead. I can't and see what's, what's underneath yok. It just doesn't. Oh, it doesn't show up? All right. Yeah, it does, but it's like I don't can't really see. It's like oh, just the, like the last. Is it the same for everybody? Oh, now. Okay. No, sorry. It was just that. Okay. I know what that was. I about. moved it up. My bad. That's my it. bad. I'll, I'll, I'll keep in mind that you can't see that. No, I can. I can. I just, my bad. I didn't, I wasn't thinking the, 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 the bar is okay. here and I can see it. Gotcha. I'm not touching it. So yeah, my bad. sorry. That's okay. What else are we going to find in our rural village? Road. Tau. Yeah, you might even find, so you might find a road. What, um, what's a step down from a road? A trail, a path. Which would be? Tau hom. Tau ho. Tau ho hom. Yeah. Um, so trail, path. Yeah. What else? You might find a towel. You might find a highway, right? Which would be a what? Tau ah. Ah. Right. Highway, auto route. All right. What are, what what kind of buildings are you going to find in a Veng home? A barn. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you might call that a dukach, right? A farm building. Yeah. Okay, but, and a silo. Yeah. So a green building. Yeah. To, yeah. A vegetation building. Your polmech A building for storing vegetation or grain. Um, all right, what, what about actually in town? A store? Uh, city hall. Yeah, well, let's start with Nivwit. General store. Cellar. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll say, um, yeah, I mean, it's really a store, but it can also be a salesperson. Just pay attention to the context of what you're being used for. Another way to do to store my job. Business. All right, what, what other store, what other things are we going to find in town? Post office. 
Ja, Akrentum. So the Krintum, that's the message. Um, what's the word in English for tomb? Like entity. Koch, so the post service building. What else? Would they have a library? They might, if it's a big enough town. Pak Nudwit Koch, the book lender building. Pak Nudwit Koch. Theater. Yeah, you might find a mooch pot. If it's a movie theater, you might call it a police uh, station. Pot. What's that? Police station. Police station? Yeah. Ran ik koch. Police building. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then what other kind of things might you find? Fire brigade or something like that. Fire ex man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. We don't really have a a set term for describing firefighters because we don't really often describe them all that much. But cool uh, chouet. <laughs> you might actually <laughs> say that. Yeah, cool chouet or um, uh, yeah, cool chouet. Why not? But that might actually be interpreted as like somebody who is made of fire. <laughs> Uh, Could be. We don't know our species. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost imagining like a bell rog or something. You know? <laughs> um, Dushak. I'm sorry? Dushak. Dushak. Is Dushak. that the right word for school? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dushak. Cool. What are, what are we going to find? Yeah, you might find booge, booge, farm, farm vehicles. You might find mech um, booge, which is a harvester. Mech booge. Um, you might find coach uh, mech booge. So uh, a planting vehicle, a planter. Lots of different types of dooges. Okay, cool. So let's talk about the big city then, just the bang. Skyscraper. What's, the, what, what's up? Skyscraper. Yeah, Chalkach. Might even say a Chalkach. Ah, and it's a big one. What else are you going to find? Koch. Koch? Touch. Oh, touch. Touch. Yeah. yeah. Our hub. Soon. What else? Trip <laughs> joint. Okay. That's, that's a mouthful. What's that? Okay, shoot to bet tachbuch mit wit touch. Okay, what else we got? It's true, you will you might you might see that and then you're gonna have to describe <laughs> it. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> what else we got? Um restaurant automobiles. Okay. Restaurant. Yeah, another another name for this might actually just be a which is a cabaret. They so might actually call that a cabaret. So much cat. But the other way, the other way was much more blunt about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's automobiles. Booge. Yep. Cars. So is there a word for a uh, public toilet? Troop uh, Vutpa? A, a pushpa. 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 Yeah, yeah, pushpa. Um to describe it, it's it's interesting because we don't really have a terminology for private public. Um 
We have a public area, club. That is club. true, but that's more like a area. Yeah. That's more like mm -hmm. a like a square or something. Okay. Um, um what about again you can um, use not lach for coach no so like a or lach for or lach for yeah i was i so was thinking of a bathroom that everyone coach coach pot a uh, restroom for all so the problem and we've already talked about using vod as you would in english the problem with that is that if you use vod like this i'm expecting you to use a, th there's going to be a verb after it that's really not, um, it's, it's really not a Klingon way to describe um, the thing. So again, um, I, would, I would suggest using bol, right? So I'm sorry, I can't see half the screen because there's this thing. Um, right? So a bathroom that everyone can use. Right? But again, I advocate using pot. Or push. All right, what else we got? Subway. Yeah. Okay. You say a loop with mirror, which is a train. Right. A park or a garden. Yeah, you might find a yoke. Park. You might find a garden. Goop home. Garden. Yeah. Um, back before the whole pandemic, and I was living in Chicago, we had a loop with mir gen. An L. An elevated, an elevated train. So we have a train. So there's the Tau, right? This is just the regular Rav. And then the train is above the street. It's, an, it's referred to as the L. So they just take the first syllable here and they make it into the name. All right, what else, uh, what else are you going to see in big cities? Bushakha. Bushakha. Yep. University. What else? Swimming pool, a khal catch, khal ball. Cool. And then to clarify, you can add khal mech, khal mech dok mev a, a swimming pool. I won't write it, but you can, you can just see it. A All stadium. Right. Stadium, yep. And we actually just got a new word, picho. Ooh. Um, Vash, you might say, uh, but that's that's if it's indoors, I think. Um, yeah, I might have said Vash beforehand, but I'm rethinking that now. But Pichot Yot or Field Pichot Vash Ah. Sure. So how would you say concert stadium? A stadium concert. Oh. A stadium concert? I don't know. A, a vash a kokmuch, maybe? If you want to use vash a this way. This just, mean, this just means great hall. So really what you're saying is made or sports great hall, you know? <laughs> okay, what else we got? Art gallery. Mm-hmm. Mechem, an art gallery or, 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 a, or a museum? Okay, a museum, whatever. Whichever, whichever. I mean, they're both fine. A mechem nevwit, I would say, for, 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 for a gallery, because that's what it's there for, to nev, right, to sell. Mm -hmm. But then you could also have a mechem, mechem angwed, right? So an art museum, right? So angwed is just a museum, right? Yeah, cool. What other things do we have in a city? Amusement park? That is true. How to say amusement park in Klingon. Um, <laughs> let's think about it here. 
Yeah, because it's odd because it's not really a Klingon thing, is it? It could be because it's like you're screaming while you're taking these rights. It's like to conquer your fears. Mm -hmm. a greater uh -huh. I think a Klingon amusement park would be more like the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Neb Tivkoch. Everyone enjoys mock battle. Mike Neb. Mike, yeah, Mike Neb Tivkoch. Mike Neb Tivkoch. Um, what else have we got? What other things do we have in Klingon or in, in, in major cities? We have landmarks, right? And in Klingon, there are two ways to talk about landmarks. You can have a dock noi, which is just a landmark, right? So it's just a regular landmark. It could be like, um, a site of a famous battle, a site of a famous event, a site um, like a famous park or whatever. And then you have a kochnoi, which is a landmark and it's specifically a koch, right? So the first one just means famous place, doknoi, and the other one is a kochnoi, which is a famous building. building. So um, what are some examples of some kochnoi? <laughs> The uh, house where Jack Benny was born. Okay. Oh, that's the... Sure. Yeah, and the Dakota building in New York. Yeah, right. And Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, that, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, Kennedy no. Space Center. But like um, Cape Canaveral, that would be a dock noy, right? That's a. There are buildings there, but it might be uh, might be more of a dock noy because there are multiple buildings. Yeah. Just talking about the dock, multiple buildings and just dock in general, right? Like there's the. Um, I've never been there, so I'm only thinking about the mission control and. So. Uh, yeah, my brother has been there. He he was very he was very into space stuff for a very long time. It's so big that it has uh, clouds in the building. Oh, have you been there? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like an hour north of us. So yeah. Oh wow, it's great. Um. Did you know that in uh, Jules, Jules Verne's um, Around the Moon, he has, uh, he has Americans blasting off from Cape Canaveral to go around the moon? It's pretty cool. Um, but they get shot out of a cannon. So not 100, doesn't get 100 points on, on accuracy. What other things? Well, there's also air on the moon, I believe. Uh, yes, yeah, they, I think they like see people on the moon or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, information center. An information I was going to say government building. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's different. Yeah, kumkach, government building. You can say a lochkach. This is really useful if you live in like a uh, capital or something, right? Capital. I thought that, I thought a kumkach is a fruit. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got the joke. I got it. Loch <laughs> Koch. What else? So this is this is a government building, and this is an administration. What about a subway? Yeah, we were talking about that when you were gone. It's a oh, okay. An underground train. And uh, bus? Yeah. Loop. Bus, yeah. Okay, tram then, it's the same or? Yeah, loop with near. Well, it's, it, it depends. This, yeah, the tram is on a rail, then it would be a loop with yeah. yeah. Does anybody know? I remember in conversational Klingon, Worf mentions a jitney. Yep, that's the same as loop, loop with. I couldn't remember the word. Train, tram, whatever. Um, so we have so lupwit mir literally means a a uh, transporter chain, right? That's what it, we're literally saying when we say lupwit mir. But it, it's understood to mean like tram or train, whatever. Mm, I suppose we did airport already. No, we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, but ah. we'll hold that. Uh, we'll hold off on that a second while we talk about lupwit mir and some of the other words that go with it. 
So the loop width meter goes on its techme. So tech, just regular tech, what does tech mean? Rail, probably, I don't know. Yeah, well, ray, uh, beam, whatever. But when we're talking about trains, it means techme, it means rails. Yeah. Um, it can also mean uh, a tech is like the, um, it's the shaft of a spear. There you go. And then we have loop Whitmore. Does anybody know how an individual train car is called? We mere home? Yeah, loop with slar will. That's just a train car. Slar will. Yeah. Will. Which is the name, which is the word for an individual chain or an individual link, right? In a chain. So I think that's really cute. <laughs> so loop with mir, that's the whole thing. And then loop with klar will is one link in the loop with mir, right? So it's one wagon or train car, right? Okay. So Yotar, you were talking about airport. Muduj ver. And the spaceport? Ver. Train station. Oh, yeah. Um Ver. <laughs> Space station. Question mark. <laughs> we were talking about Loch Duj this morning during the Kotvin Pep. What else are we going to see in a big city? We have four minutes left, just so y'all know. Crime. Oh, yeah, crime. <laughs> and bicycles. Hesh, crime. We have hesh to commit crime. And then we also have the ones who do that, which is hesh wish. Hesh wish. Hey, criminals, criminals. Woo. What kind of crimes are there? Let's talk about some crimes. Uh, nich is theft or to thieve. Yeah, to steal. To steal, yes. Yeah, but to to, to thieve is also a good translation. Yeah. What else we got? Drugs, recreational drugs. I mean, drugs, drugs, not medicine. And Ted Nev. So drugs. What else we got? I believe there's a word for robbery. Hedge. Hedge. And hedge wit is the robber. That's right. Okay. So after this is done, y'all can go and play a game of Ran Ek Ya. Cops and robbers. Hedge wit ja. Yeah. Cops and robbers. <laughs> uh, what about blackmail Hedge. or extortion? Yeah, to blackmail, to yeah, extort, whatever. Lech. Prostitution. What's that? Prostitution. Constitution? No, oh, prostitution. <laughs> oh, prostitution. All right. So here's the thing about prostitution, okay? Is it a crime? We got two, well, it all well, well, Those who kidnap like girls to do that is definitely a crime. I mean, for Klingons. Ah, okay. Cool. So we have two words for prostitute, um, which I asked for, for, for when I translated Candide, there was a scene where uh, there was a prostitute and so I needed the word. And, um, and I got it and it was this, Opuchwit is a prostitute and Katoi is a prostitute, but it's a slang word. And originally, originally I was told that Katoi was was just a regular word for prostitute, but then oh, yeah. it later got changed to, oh yeah, it's actually a slang word. Um, and so, so the thing about opuchwit, and I asked- Do you have a meaning for opuch? This is what I was about to get into. During last, during la last week, there was a Q&A, and I asked Mark about this because, uh, or excuse me, Dr. Okrand, um, I asked Dr. Oakland about this, and um, we got this word varchwit, which means founder or changeling. Change. Mm -hmm. um, and we we got we got the the gloss for varchwit, but we didn't get the gloss for varch. And similarly, we didn't get the 
gloss for opuch. So he asked Dr. Okran about this, and um, he said uh, that there is definitely a gloss for var, but he doesn't know for opuch. So he's thinking about it. <laughs> so, so we might be able to say safe answer <laughs> to prostitute, you know. But maybe it's to prostitute oneself. We don't know. Should we say opuch er to prostitute oneself? We don't know. Um, and then, or like, it could have the, an entirely different meaning that you can't necessarily use in polite company. Right. right. And to, so, to to forge to falsify would be something with neb moch. Like yeah, tag neb ten moch or whatever. You know, tag neb ling. Maybe even a hit. Kidnap. Cooch. To kidnap. Good one. Oh, a good one. All right. Do Klingons know about the Lindbergh baby? Maybe. <laughs> but that's another, you know, that's a sad example, but I believe the Lindbergh baby got choked, right? Yes. Yeah. Embezzle? <laughs> um, to misuse money? Yeah, misuse money or um, so to misuse government money, malja. To um, misuse business money, you know, whatever. Sorry, what did you say? What did you say, Scott? Uh, some English word which I didn't know. In diesel, what what? Bezel. Um, lo ha, we would trans. Oh, for yes, to embezzle. Embezzle. Is e m. E -M yeah, e m b e z z l e. All right, thanks. You could also just say nich, right? That might be even better. Nich. It's more straight to the point. Um. Cool. You might also, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few out, a few more out there. So there's how or statues, right? You might see statues. You might see statues made out of bronze. So um, this is the word for bronze. It's actually two words. So this That's, is the word Yeah, because bronze is an alloy. Yeah, tin yeah. copper statue. So tin copper means um, bronze, because when you put them together, you get bronze. So what is steel? Steel is rav ushkan. It literally means carbon iron. And then, but we have an entirely different word for, uh, for stainless steel, which is, which is velshot ushkan. Hmm. And Velshop is chromium, but we actually have two different words for chromium. So we have <laughs> uh, and I swear the only reason we have this is so that Mark could have gotten, so that Dr. Okran could get his uh, pun in there. So Kopreindir uh, is leather. And uh, Scott, you might remember this commercial. Yes. <laughs> Corinthian leather. Corinthian leather. So the word that we have for leather in Klingon is chromium skin, or else referred to as korindir. Didn't we get that like last year or something? Yeah, we got it. Um, yeah, during the last kippah. Okay. Well, we talked about the things that we saw in the city. Um, this week, take some time and think about the different places that you go to the city. Oh, we didn't talk about banks either. That's, a, that's an important one. Mm. Baylet. Baylet is the word for a bank. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't actually go into the bank all that much. I go, especially not now um, with the pandemic and everything, but I do go, um, I do use the Baylet internet doc. So I do have to The only time I go into a bank is when I need a new check register, mm -hmm. which I don't use for checks anymore, just for my online transactions. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I honestly have never... I had a checkbook when I was a teen, 
but I never used it. And now I just don't even have one. I wonder if a checks are an American thing because I've never seen or heard anything about checks. Like I'm sure they're not just American. They're just old. You will, you're too young to have grown up with checks. Ask your parents and grandparents mm -hmm. to show you one of their checkbooks. Yeah, well, their stool is not, I don't think their stool is older than me. So I hear remember, uh, he remembers them and he's from US, so that's why I'm wondering. They just might have gone out of style sooner mm, in okay. Europe than in the United States. I don't know. I don't know. We were taught that, yeah, but, we were taught that we needed to know how to balance a checkbook. So we so we, yeah. we had like a bunch of things in school, like you know, we had a reward system. So if you were good and you turn in your homework, you get like fake, you know, these fake this fake currency that you could only spend on like goodies and stuff in class. And at a certain point they would entrust you with like a checkbook for this fake currency, right? Um and of course, being the sly um devil I was, I uh I forged new money i figured out a way to um, <laughs> cheat and so i got a bunch of candy and stuff um i just talked about different transactions because nobody was checking anything so anyway. when i was about 12 my mom put me in charge of balancing her checkbook every month and that's back when you actually got the checks returned to you in the mail and yeah. i had to put them all in order and then go through and make sure that each one was accounted for and then balance it all right I don't miss that. <laughs> all right, so I see that we lost Caitlin. That's okay. Ah, Six minutes over. That was very careless of you. <laughs> like that. Lost in cyberspace. Um, cool. All right. Well, if you all have any questions during the week, email me, and I will try to get back to you at a reasonable time. <laughs> Are we going to get homework this time? Some cool worksheets. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Are we going to get what? Worksheets. Worksheets. Oh, yeah. We haven't had homework in a while. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saved those, you know. Yeah. Um, they go in my binder. I'll try. They take me forever to put together, but I will, I will, I will do that. <laughs> Can't you steal them from someone? I'd rather just make my own. Because <laughs> there aren't that many out there, actually. No. No. Okay, so I, I think the question. only option they have is only this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any other one at all. <laughs> I have to go because I have to get back to work because I managed to I managed to get some hours off my 25 hours shift. Mm -hmm. So now I have to get back because the person cannot stay longer mm -hmm. than Great. Okay. All right. I will not keep Whereas going. I've been at work this whole time and you guys have seen how much I've had to do. Yeah, well, I cannot use the internet <laughs> work, so yeah, yeah, I've, yeah I, we don't have Wi-Fi, and it's you are not supposed to show the private homes of somebody like on video because it's right. against the law. Yeah, I can get away with just about anything here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna head off because I got my Esperanto class, but uh, pitch. See you next week. <laughs>